Hello creepy people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing another horror pack unboxing. This one is going to be the April 2022 horror pack unboxing. If you guys do not know what horror pack is, horror pack is a horror movie subscription service where every month you get four new DVD and or Blu-rays and they are all horror movie genre related. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you discover movies that become your new favorites. You see movies that are very interesting that you've never heard of before. All around it's a really good time and I know a few of my viewers really enjoy seeing these videos so I continue to do them for you guys but it really is a lot of fun. I have discovered a lot of new favorite movies from doing these. I cannot wait to see what the April pack has in store for us. It is always a huge surprise every single month. I love it. So if any of you guys are interested in checking out Horror Pack for yourself, I will have a link right at the top of the description box. Don't worry, it is not an affiliate link. I'm not making any money off of your clicks. It's just a link for you guys to easily click, check out the site, and see, it is, see if it is something that you are interested in joining. So yes, let's go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, we are going to be doing the April unboxing today. But before we do that, I do want to talk about the March 22 movies that we got. Uh, there's four of them here. I just want to go over. Oh my god, I just spit everywhere. So we're going to be talking about these movies a little bit. I'm going to go over my reviews of them. And then the second half of this video is going to be unboxing the new movie. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get creepy. Well, the first movie I want to talk about is the Crucible of Horror. I gave this one three out of five stars. The first thing that I found to be absolutely terrible about this movie is the sound quality. Oh my gosh. Like the visual quality of it was okay. This is a very, very old movie. This was made in 1971. So it is an older movie and it is converted into Blu-ray. So it visually looked okay, but the sound quality was absolutely horrible. I had to turn it up with subtitles on and even with the subtitles they weren't really accurate and it was really hard to understand. Basically this movie is all about a family, a wife, a father, and a daughter and a brother. I'm pretty sure there was a brother in this. I watched these movies so long ago so it's kind of hard to like remember and go off my notes here but the dad in this movie is a super uptight asshole with a lot of OCD tendencies. He holds really really high expectations for his family and throughout you know living like this his wife Edith and his daughter Jane are becoming really fed up with him the way he treats them the way he beats on them the way he acts with them like they're just kind of really fed up and they need to come up with a plan to get rid of the father. Of course they want to make it look like an accident. One weekend the father decides to go up to their cabin just to kind of have a hunting trip, a secluded hunting trip, and he invites his wife and daughter to go with them but they're like no like we're not interested we might come up later. They do decide to come up later but not to hunt they come up later to kill him. And it kind of seems like this whole thing you know you'd think if you're going to do something about this that you would have a very solid concrete plan of doing this but it kind of seems like like their plan to do this whole kind of murder make it look like an accident thing wasn't really very well thought out. So the first thing they do is they bring a gun with them to the cabin or they grab a gun from the cabin or something and they you know they have a gun but they don't ever actually use it to like kill him. Instead they use like sleeping pills or pills of some sort and you know they pretty much drug him up and they take him up to the bedroom and they put him in bed and they kind of make it look like he OD'd on these pills and they just kind of leave him there. They don't actually kill him or anything. Um, they just kind of you know leave him in bed and kind of hope that the sleeping pills will take over and he'll OD and it'll make it look like an accident. Well fun fact he doesn't end up dying. So Edith and Jane leave. They leave their husband and father's body in the bed. They're like okay he's gonna OD. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll come up with a plan to get rid of the body or whatever. And when they go back up there, they notice that the body is gone and the bed is perfectly made and everything is all cleaned up. So they're like, oh my fucking God, like where is the body? What the hell is going on? And this part, this is when I kind of got started to get a little bit lost and confused because they end up finding his dead body in a wooden crate, his dead body in a wooden crate. I don't know who did that. I don't know if he did that to himself to make it look like 
Yeah, I don't know. That part kind of had me lost a little bit, but Edith and Jane get rid of this wooden crate and they're like, okay, like he's gone. Like we don't have to worry about it anymore. I don't know who put his body in that crate, but it's not our problem. We got rid of the crate. He's gone. We can live our life. yippee ki -yay. And then once Edith and Jane go back home and they're like, okay, we're going to stay here. Like we're not going to move. We want to stay in our house. Like life is going to be so much better. And a couple days later, the father shows up back at the house. I was shocked because I I, like this whole time I thought he was actually dead but he wasn't he was still alive and he comes back to the house he beats up Jane pretty good and I'm pretty sure he kills Edith his wife and basically the movie ends with pretty much everything going back to normal you know Jane is absolutely terrified of him and miserable and it, it's kind of it's 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 very unclear whether or not the father really did kill the wife or not because at the end of the movie it almost looks like her ghost is there but he's not talking to her or he is talking to her but she's not really there it was just a very interesting movie it was very very odd the next movie i want to talk about is the horror pack limited edition and that was the movie freak this one I gave one and a half out of five stars. I did not like this one very much. Basically, it is about a woman who is a recovering alcoholic who had a very traumatic accident where she either lost a daughter, a niece, a friend. There was a little girl that got killed or something in an accident. So for her recovery, she decides to leave Los Angeles and go to a cabin in Pennsylvania, I'm pretty sure, just to kind of get away, have a low time, detox, you know, really just kind of be in nature and not have any sort of outside influence affecting her. And soon soon thereafter arriving to this cabin she starts to become haunted with these just weird things about the incident like weird things start happening it's also like it's also very weird because there's like this weird like cult connection that is in the basement or some sort of satanic thing that's going on in the basement and she ends up becoming a, a victim to it and it does have a couple of jump scares but other than that the movie was extremely boring and disappointing it didn't really make a whole lot of sense the plot was just kind of like oh okay oh oh okay like it wasn't very consistent throughout the one thing that i really hated about this movie is there was no option for subtitles i am someone that no matter what nowadays i always watch things with subtitles on tv shows movies i always have subtitles and the fact that there was no option for subtitles in this movie was very very disappointing because i had a really hard time understanding what they were saying also one thing that i really found annoying is that the phone in the cabin kept ringing like people were constantly calling her so it was like a little bit of dialogue a little bit of backstory and then just constant phone ringing like it was very annoying the next movie that i want to talk about is vfw with stephen lang he is the guy who plays in don't breathe i did confirm that uh, i think he is a really great actor and when i gave you guys the description of this movie and when i watched it this movie is literally just as described as it is on the back because you know how you read the back of a movie and you're like oh okay and then you watch it and it's kind of completely different this one was like spot on like what you read on the back is exactly what you're gonna see i gave this one three out of five stars it is about a group of veterans whether they you know were in a war or vets of some sort get together at their vfw location like you know most vfws they hang out they talk they have a couple beers couple mixed drinks you just kind of do what vets do you know what i mean and not too far away there was like this drug pen where a bunch of druggies go and do drugs and there's like this leader of this drug ring and he ends up killing a girl and it ends up being this other girl's sister. The sister who got killed is named Lucy and her sister finds out that Lucy is dead and this girl wants to get revenge for this guy for killing her sister so what she decides to do, what she thinks would be a good thing to do, is she decides to steal a giant brick of his drugs. I don't know if it was like cocaine or meth or something, I don't really know, and put it in her backpack and just take off running. And she ends up making her way to the VFW where all of these guys are and they're like what the hell is going on like what are you doing in here and she explains the whole situation and all of the drug people are like coming in on the vfw so they have to barricade it and they have to you know not only protect their vfw location but protect this girl protect themselves their friends just like it a quiet night at the vfw quickly turned into chaos real quick and spoiler alert in the end the vfw guys they do end up getting their revenge even though they lose about four or five of their guys um, it was it was an okay movie definitely not a horror movie this is not a horror movie this is definitely more of like a 
drama thriller, you know, and it was just okay. I wasn't like blown away by it by any means, but it was okay. And then the very last movie that I want to talk about is One Eyed Girl. This one I gave 3.8 out of 5 stars. This one was probably the best one out of the bunch. It is about a psychologist. His name is Dr. Bell and it kind of goes into a background a little bit about his life and what I picked up from it is that he had a intimate physical romantic relationship with a patient named Rachel. Naughty naughty you can't do that. And something happens to Rachel and she ends up dying so now Dr. Bell is really suffering on the inside like he doesn't know how to handle he these emotions even though he's a psychologist. Psychologists also struggle too my friends it's not easy peasy all the way around. You know he's suffering with the consequences of his actions you know he fraternized with the patient he lost her and now he's struggling he has addictions you know he's taking a bunch of pills and alcohol and he comes across this church while he's out on a walk and it's supposed to be like you know finding yourself and getting rid of your pain very quickly it turns out to be a, a cult basically where they help people you know find themselves and get rid of the pain and people who are suffering with addiction just major like super creepy cliche cult vibes with this movie for sure. Dr. Bell ends up getting involved with this cult and you know in the beginning he's really suffering and he wants to leave but eventually you know he makes his way out of his addiction. He starts to feel better. He feels himself feeling again and he starts to feel like himself again and everything is starting to make sense to him now. Like with all cults is they do almost always intend to implode on themselves and this is when Dr. Bell starts to see that something isn't right with this cult and he's starting to realize that all these people are completely brainwashed by the leader of this cult who his name is Jay. He is the leader of all of this. And that Jay is very evil and he's very damaging to these people and he wants to do something about it. So Jay ends up getting murdered by one of the other cult members that he actually assaulted and one of the female members you know gets really upset that the leader is gone and she wants to kind of like take over his legacy and bring more people into this cult and Dr. Bell is like okay like this is fucked like I need to put a stop to this right now. The ending is actually kind of sad because Dr. Bell ends up getting murdered in the end when in you know he he wanted to help these people you know he wanted to better these people's lives and in the end he just ends up dying so it's just a very tragic sad story but this was not a bad movie I actually kind of enjoyed this one hey guys and those were all of the reviews for the March 2022 movies and now we can get into the good stuff the new movies for April 2022 I am very excited now I went with the blu-ray pack I always go with the blu-ray pack because my blu-ray collection is a lot smaller than my DVD collection so I just like to build up with a bunch of blu-rays so we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna get started. I have no idea what we're gonna get. All right, so as you can see on the inside, we have four new Blu-rays in here. And I think I'm going to start on the very bottom. So the first movie that we got for April 2022 is, okay. So this movie is from the creator of Final Destination and this is called The Final Wish. And I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces, this being one of them. Uh, Lynn Shay, I think that's her name. Uh, we see her in a lot of horror movies, Nightmare on Elm Street, Insidious. I have never heard of this movie before. So I'm very curious about it, but I do love Lynn Shay. I thought, I think she's fabulous in horror movies. I think she always does a really good job. Um, this one was made in 2018. It is about 96 minutes long and on the back it says from the creator of the Final Destination franchise comes a new twisted tale of death. With the unexpected passing of his father, Aaron tries to come to terms with his grief while supporting his devastated mother. Drifting through his father's belongings, Aaron comes upon an urn that is far more than it seems. As his wants and wishes start coming true, Aaron thinks his prayers have been answered until he realizes the price of his good fortune is much more than he bargained for. Okay, so... Okay, this doesn't sound too bad. Let me know, have any of you guys ever seen this movie? I'm very interested in it. Definitely sounds like something right up my alley. Okay, the second movie that I'm going to take is I'm gonna take the one right from the middle. I'm wondering what our Horror Pack Limited Edition is going to be this month because 
with every single horror pack, you get a horror pack limited edition movie. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're just god awful. So the second movie for April is a Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> and this one is called Pay the Ghost. And it is starring Nicolas Cage. And on the bottom, it says Evil Walks Among Us. Now, I'm not a huge Nicolas Cage person. Um, he kind of falls into the same category as Tom Cruise for me. I'm just not like a huge Nicolas Cage person, but we'll give this one a chance. Uh, so this one was made in 2015. It is about 94 minutes. Here is what the cover of this one looks like. Pay the ghost. So on the back it says, Oscar winner Nicolas Cage stars in this intense and chilling thriller about one man's desperate search for his missing child. One year after his young son disappeared during a Halloween carnival, Mike Lawford is haunted by eerie images and terrifying messages he can't explain. Together with his estranged wife, he will stop at nothing to unravel the mystery and find their son. And in doing so, he unearths a legend that refuses to remain buried in the past. Okay, so this one, I feel like this actually kind of sounds familiar to me. Like I have seen this before, but I'm not sure. This one sounds interesting. Like I'm excited. These first two movies seem pretty good. So I will definitely watch this one and report back to you guys next month on what I think about it. All right, guys, we have two movies left. The next movie, I'm going to take the one off of the very top. We have yet to see our Horror Pack Limited Edition. I'm wondering if this one is going to be it. So the third movie for April is, is this our Horror Pack Limited Limited edition? Okay, so it looks like we have another old movie. This one was made in 1980, and this one is called, if I can open it, Jesus. And this one is called Full Moon High. He's today's teenage werewolf, only the rules have changed. And like I said, this was made in 1980. Oh, down here it says 1980, but then over here it says 1981. So either one of those, it is about 93 minutes. Okay, I don't think this is our Horror Pack Limited Edition. I just think this is like an 80s horror film. I don't know, let's go ahead and see what it says on the back. So on the back it says, the problems of a typical high school teenager take on monstrous proportions in this comical send up of horror movies. The most important thing to quarterback Tony Walker is to win the big game against arch rival Simpson High. But this plan soon changes when Tony is bitten by a werewolf, and that's when things really start to get hairy. Ha, ha, ha. Now, whenever there's a full moon, he transforms into a growling beast that hungrily chases down beautiful girls. Cursed to live forever as a teenager with uncontrollable urges, Tony realizes he must find a way to end this cycle of animalistic excess. Okay, this sounds like a typical cheesy 80s movie, but I'm kind of living for it. I'm kind of excited to see this one. I think the cover art is actually freaking adorable. I don't know. This just looks really cute. Like, I don't know. I, I love the bats. It's cute. Okay, we all know this one's going to be cheesy as all get out. Okay, so <laughs> that is the third one. And the final movie for April 2022 is I'm guessing going to be our horror pack. And it sure is. So our Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray for the month of April 2022 is called Death Cast. The cover of this one looks like the Horror Pack Limited Edition movie that we got a few months ago called Why. It looks very similar to that cover, if you guys remember that. Uh, this was made in 2021, 77 minutes long. On the back it says, six fame-hungry young actors cast in an experimental horror film arrive on set to discover that the terror is real. One by one, the actors become the victims as the killer goes off script and real blood begins to flow. Okay, so that actually sounds really good. I feel like they've made a movie like this before, like a more mainstream movie like this. Can't think of the name of it to save my life, but this one sounds good. I like the concept of that one. But the thing with Horror Pack is they are very, very low budget films. Um, the acting usually isn't that great. But of course, as always, I will take one for the team. I will watch this one. I will check it out. And of course, report back to you guys on what I think about this. Hopefully, it'll be better than the one that we got in March. 
fingers crossed. All right, guys, and those were all of the movies that we got for April 2022. Let me know down below, have you seen any of these movies? What did you think about them? Do you think I'm going to like any of these movies? If you guys enjoyed this video and you are a horror movie fan like myself, make sure you go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon with another video. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, make sure you go down and hit that red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four, sometimes five days here. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for watching. Stay creepy and I will see you very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!